Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how this under the seat water bottle holder mounts. We'll look at the instructions, parts, tools needed, what's included, what's not. And very importantly, I'll tell you, because I've been testing a second set for the last few hundred kilometers, what works and what doesn't. So, the manufacturer is here on the box. Yes, everything in the box weighs 112 grams. I just measured everything by this very simple kitchen scale repeatedly. These are the parts, some are plastic, looks like durable ABS. This metal part here has a threaded hole there, and these two bolts with those washers go through those threaded holes. The second plastic part holds the water bottle cage like so in this position or you can mount one here or you can mount two side by side i have two mounted looking like this hope that makes sense and these two halves go together with or connect together with washer on one side spacer in the middle washer and a nut with a nylon insert so it's self-locking there very straightforward these four nuts are needed for holding the bottle cages. These just drop into the recesses like so. There. And then, so that's where they go. Now, there, number four. Okay. So, the same is visible in the instructions here. Very clear print. There's your piece count. That's how everything goes together not just in theory assembly is really straightforward and simple now what's not included with the assembly a couple of obvious things water bottles are not included so that's obvious bottle cages are not included and i'm trying two different designs because one failed me and the other one doesn't so i have plastic and i have aluminum or aluminium depending on the market you're in and yes this is off a kid's bicycle and it's worth 25 cents with some goodwill and yes it's uh, i don't know 40 grams and this is 30 grams and if you want i don't know a 22 gram carbon fiber cage you can have your comparison or test results but i'll tell you what the differences are between the kitty water bottle cage and plastic water bottle cage when i get there in a minute also very importantly what's not included are the boards that these nuts mount to so you're gonna need to salvage from another bicycle a kid's bicycle whatever water bottle mounting screws the cage mounting screws yes you're gonna have to take them out of another bicycle's frame or somewhere ask the bicycle shop whatever buy some whatever because these bolts that go through the frame and the bicycle frame has a threaded insert or a threaded hole in the frame for these bolts yeah, that's not happening uh, you're gonna have to supply your own bolts or take them out from a bicycle again because you have nothing to uh, yeah nothing to put through those nuts okay the tools that are needed very simply four millimeter allen key and 10 millimeter wrench spanner this bolt here needs to be held with one and this nylon insert washer self-locking nut needs to be held with the other one very straightforward yes mounting is very very simple let's see there you have a good angle there and they will mount this way okay not this way this is a cute shape this way but it's not gonna work out too well okay because the seat this metal bar here under the seat of course needs to be clamped here in this gap not going to tighten it just just for show and tell 
that's it I'm just gonna put one bolt in and that loosely it only goes in so far because I don't know some uh, metal burrs on the other side so it needs a wrench okay okay we'll pretend it's tight well it's obviously not so don't but uh, that's how this one goes and the other half then mounts in a position that you can set yourself so you can set the angle further down or higher up you might be thinking oh i'm gonna make this i'm gonna make the angle of this component parallel with the angle of the seat tube so that they so that they look you know running parallel with each other side by side or something uh, that might be a good idea but it doesn't really work because let me show you this here because of two things you're gonna have to swing your leg over this whole assembly with the bottle cage in it so the angle that you set is, is you might be you might be thinking there this one is now parallel with this one hey it looks good yeah but if you can't swing your leg over it uh, it's not gonna be functioning really well so you might end up tilting it whatever at whatever angle when you tilt it obviously we have a problem with this tail pack here or seat pack here it's being squished or torn off its straps or whatever so there's gonna be a happy balance high your tail pack if you carry one for flat repairs whatever how this tail pack and how this cage holder or the, the cage assembly everything is gonna what whatever angle is gonna end up in it's a combination of space underneath space needed above and uh, and one other thing that one other thing is that this whole mount it looks good on paper is flexible that's not a problem so if you kick it it's not going to break not likely to break so that's okay but it also means that it bounces while you're riding over uneven terrain it's bouncing and bouncing now this is what happened to me you see this orange water bottle here it is uh, maybe maybe put you over here there you can see that its shoulder here is kind of shallow and this part of the bottle cage doesn't quite engage with this shoulder too well so within minutes i lost this water bottle when it was full and heavy it's bouncing even more and the first thing i lost was this and so that's why it's chewed up at the there at the cap you can kind of see it there and also on the bottom whatever now this second water bottle is a proper one it fits there the shoulder better locks in place with the tab on the water bottle cage and it looks like it's held securely yeah um, look at those marks on it yeah no it took several tumbles had to yeah I wasted another half hour on finding this because I wanted to find it just to see how long it would take me to find once uh, one lost water bottle so this shape doesn't quite work with the flexiness of this whole assembly and it's not that it's mounted loosely no this is mounted loosely it's not even bolted in this one is bolted in securely besides i loosened that bolt enough just to show you this geometric uh, situation here but besides that this gets catapulted out with its inherent flexiness from this side this here is like i said a kiddie water bottle or, or a water bottle cage from a kid's bicycle and it's made of aluminum or aluminium and you can squish it together it it does have a course it does have a bounce back but you can set its clamping force you can change its clamping force to make it very tight like so there 
nothing has ever been lost from this type of a water bottle cage yes its top is engaging with the shoulder here but again you can set the clamping force on it by just bending the metal to a tighter shape you cannot do that with a plastic or with a carbon fiber very good looking but not quite functional water bottle cage okay so i hope these observations help you or make sense that's my situation here with this assembly i'm still thinking whether i like the whole thing it definitely functions and yeah for 110 grams and uh, for the price that it costs me it's it's a keep it's useful enough and it, i don't think it's obvious design issues can be overcome